Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Are you ready for the event? Houston, this is Station. Are we are ready for the event, I think. Over to you. All right, Houston. Uh, Okay, copy, David, thank you. Um, today we are gathered here for the uh, change of command ceremony. Um, during the past five months, um, I had the honor and privilege to serve as the uh, International Space Station commander. Um, during these five months, we had, uh, in addition to all the experiments, the science that we did, we had uh, multiple successful EVAs and uh, a lot of cargo vehicles coming, going. And uh, we had uh, uh, a lot of maintenance and also upgrades. And uh, thank you all for working together and making this uh, team such a great team uh, with all these achievements. Oleg, Piotr, Mark, Shane, Megan, and Toma. You guys are amazing. Um, I couldn't be uh, uh, happier than uh, being a, a member of this team. So thank you. And for the folks on the ground, uh, every single one of you in Houston, Huntsville, Munich, Tsukuba, and Moscow, uh, thank you for your help, your support, your hard work, and dedication. And uh, throughout uh, all the agencies supporting the International Space Station program, we could not have done uh, such a great work uh, without you, your help. And uh, so it is my honor to give you, uh, Thomas Pesquet the key to the International Space Station. And Thomas, you've been an amazing crewmate, and you're going to be a superb commander. So congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks, Aki. I think uh, I think the whole crew is gonna join me to thank you for everything you did during those five months, uh, five months in increment Expedition 65. Uh, you've led us every day, you know, always smiling, always being positive, always being in a good mood, and you've clearly, I think, prioritized our common goals uh, and well-being above uh, your own. And um, and I think you've lost a few hours of sleep in the in the process. Uh, you have this uncanny ability to, whenever help is needed on the space station, you just materialize out of thin air, no matter where we are, no matter uh, what we're doing. Uh, but you always show up and uh, and always, you know, with such a positive attitude that it, it uh, rubbed us, uh, rubbed off on us, and uh, sometimes diffused the, the frustration that can build up when you're struggling with a, a difficult task. So. Um, thanks a lot for that. So, like you said, we've had uh, also a couple of challenging operational situations during Expedition uh, 65. Uh, we went through them very safely, so you're no stranger to that. Um, so thanks, Aki. So I have big shoes to to fill. You took a lot of pressure off me by doing such a fantastic job that I don't even have to think about doing better than you because it's not humanly possible. Um, but yeah, thanks for being an example and uh, an inspiration. Um, I want to say a few words about uh, everybody else on the on the team because uh, I've had the pleasure to serve under Shane as a commander of uh, Expedition 50, and of course on the on the Crew Dragon. Uh, Oleg was my commander on the Soyuz last time I flew to space. Um, Mark and Megan have have had the leadership positions within the astronaut office, so um, I've learned a lot from all of you guys on the ground and up here every day. So. I'm uh, hugely thankful for that, honestly. And uh, I'm looking forward now that it's my, my turn to uh, try to do a good job to keep the mission safe, uh, achieve our operational goals, and come back to our loved ones uh, healthy and happy. Uh, so those are the, those are the goals. Um, I want to say how proud I am as well to represent my country up here. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that my, my uh, career path uh, and my opportunities owe a great deal to the the leading and active role that France has always played in, uh, in aerospace and in space exploration in particular, whether it be um, 
in its own name since 1962 with CNES, the French Space Agency, uh, first Western European in space in 82 and lots of other flights. Um, and of course within ESA since the, since the very beginning. Um, merci à tous les, tous les décideurs, tous les ingénieurs euh, et tous les actifs du secteur spatial. Si aujourd'hui je deviens le, le premier français commandant d'un véhicule spatial, c'est en grande partie à euh, vous que je le dois. Donc j'espère qu'on peut s'en réjouir euh, ensemble. Uh, lastly, I want to say a few words about the, the ops team, the training team, medical team and all the, all the support uh, functions on the ground. Um, because we're talking about the change of command up here on the space station, but there's a lot of leadership um, within the flight control team. There's a lot of brain power, obviously, um, on the ground, and a lot of people work really hard every day uh, for us to come up here and, and do what we do. So uh, I was thinking about it the other day, and you guys actually uh, try to keep us safe, uh, make us successful, and, uh, and keep us happy. Um, so it's kind of the definition of what it is to, to love someone, brotherly love, fatherly love, uh, to care enough so that uh, you want people to be safe, successful, and, uh, and happy. So it seems like you guys love us, um, and it might fit the cultural stereotype, but it's no surprise that the words of love would come from a Frenchman uh, from space. I think we all love you back, so thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, so that was a lot of words, um, but I think we have work to do. So looking forward to be the commander of all of you awesome individuals, and I think we can uh, bring it in and do Expedition 65 on three. One, two, three, Expedition 65! <laughs> <laughs>